Hey everyone, I thought it'd be fun to share with you the succulents I just purchased at Lowe's. Join me! Liquid Amber Girl Gardening I wasn't going to do this video, but I thought since most of these plants won't be in my personal collection, I got a lot of these just to use for arrangements and things that I have for sale. I thought maybe I should show them to you because they're all, most, not all, but most of them are ones that I don't have in my regular collection, uh, my own personal collection. So we'll start right here in the front. And of course, if you know me at all, if you've watched my videos at all, I'm going to reach around there. Um, you know that I am absolutely crazy about Haworthias. So I got this one because it's one um, that I might keep. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, I'm crazy about them. This is Haworthia herbaceae. 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 Um, one that I have never had before. Look at the beautiful little veining or lines um, that go through the leaves and it's just a real cute little cluster this is like a two and a half inch pot I think and um, just tons of little little Haworthias which a lot of times when they are um, a smaller plant like that a smaller Haworthia they clump tend to clump really really well and this one obviously does um, so whether or not that makes it into an arrangement I don't know we might find that I can't resist and I keep it for myself. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to part with it. This one, um, and you'll notice if you look, I kind of had a theme um, with just two exceptions. I was looking for purples and yellows. <laughs> so that's why I have, you know, I have the um, sedums back there. And of course these are also sedums. Um, the jade and the Haworthia were just because. And then um, I have a lot of purples as well. And then this Haworthia in the back, I can't wait to show you either. It's definitely blue and it's beautiful. Um, this is Murasaki. He's a Graptopetalum. And I do have this in my own personal collection as well. Mine's a little bit bigger um, and maybe has a little bit better color, but let me get them under the light a little bit. Um, they can have really pretty pink and when you're contrasting them with most of the blues and greens that you have in your succulent collection, they really do look wonderful, which is why I get them. This is one um, that I've never had in my collection. And that would be a Pacavaria Blue Haze. And I wonder, is this what you see online that people call um, Purple Moonstones? I got three of them, actually. I have another one here and another one here on the potting bench. Um, the other two don't have a bloom stalk like this one. Whoops, like this one does. And so anyway... I think he might be like the purple moonstones that I've seen. But anyway, Pacaveria Blue Haze, not one that I've owned before, but aren't they charming? Oh, I just think they are the cutest thing. And again, they really have that great purple color, pink color um, to bring into uh, an arrangement. It's just perfect. You really, you know, if you're doing a huge arrangement, you can use lots of them. But even if you just have a little tiny arrangement and just one of those, they're so striking. Here is an Echeveria Cubic Frost. Lovely, lovely. A little bit dried out. All of these need to be watered. I bought them while I was at my um, grape and wine conference. And so they spent um, two days in my hotel room. And I, you can't turn the air off in those things. It's terrible. I'm going to have to move these out of the way so that I can reach back without damaging them. Okay, I've moved them. So let's go with the um, Sedum Firestorm. This is Sedum Adolfii Firestorm. Oh, Adolfi, not Adolfi. -i. I thought that was a double I. Hmm. Anyway, look at the color. And this is when it's not even colored that well. These can really color up with that like bright reddish orange. Um, so anyway, I wanted these ones for color. I do have these in my own personal collection as well, but it's for arrangements, which is what most of these were purchased for. Let me get this Echeveria behind it, and it is so, so pretty. 
Look at this lovely little lady. And who are you? Dusty Rose Echeveria. What a pretty plant. She will make someone very, very happy. And then next to her, I have two of these um, sedum. This is, um, what is it, sedum japonica? Or it's a really cute little ground cover. And this one has a patch of the dark green in the corner there, which I love. And then this one has a reddish tint. And actually, when I picked them up, I was afraid they were dying because these can dry out really easily because um, each little piece of the leaf is so small. Um, but that wasn't the case. This is just coloring from um, sun, I assume. And, of course, there's another little dark green one. I love that these can be patchy like that and have um, different coloration. I think they're so pretty. They're perfect in arrangements. I just love them. Okay, next row back. All right. So another sedum. This one is golden sedum. A golden glow sedum. Golden grow stone crop, which is a sedum. The leaves don't look great on the bottom. And they don't, at least in my experience, they don't normally have that reddish tinge. Usually these are just like bright yellow like this guy. Just a beautiful chartreuse that just really pops in arrangements. And I do have lots of these. Um, and I have some actually growing um, from leaf cuttings or leaf starts. So mine aren't as sizable yet as these. So these will be perfect for use in my arrangements. Next is this beauty. Look how lovely. Very unusual. This is Echeveria Dark Moon, a Renee O'Connell hybrid. Isn't she lovely? Minus the water spots, um, which I think I may try to use maybe a um, soft cloth and some distilled water and see if I can get some of the hard water marks off of this because I will be putting this in an arrangement for someone else and I don't necessarily want water marks all over it but of course with echeverias you have to be careful number one touching the plant and knocking leaves off um, also the if there's any powder coating on it at all that could discolor or leave thumb thumbprints or fingerprints if you are um, not careful so I'm gonna be real careful with it but just so beautiful never really seen any other echeverias quite like that then these are of course fire sticks and again they are not colored up as well as they could be but they still are fantastic and it's a nice little bit of them a little bunch um, and I love these. They're just perfect. They have so much height. They have great drastic color and they are perfect in arrangements. And then this is just a ripple jade, which I always love jades. They're so pretty and in arrangements, it's kind of a filler. They're not necessarily something that you use um, as a wow factor, but it is beautiful. And imagine that green with a pretty pink paired with it. Look how fantastic that looks. So anyway, nice short video. Just wanted to share some of my finds with you. I hope you have a wonderful week, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.